The heart grows fonder for one's mother when one is far away from her. The native tongue sounds so much sweeter when one is far away from the motherland. This is most natural. This is a truthfully recognized by anyone who is a non-resident of their land. It is out of the creative thinking of one such non-resident Telugu community that this unique cultural organization called the Delhi Telugu Academy was born. An organization that took inception in Indraprastha, a city that has had its crucial place in the whole history of India since the times of Mahabharata, it immediately became a phone platform for all Telugus living there. More than two and a half decades ago, many Telugus endowed with multiple talents in various fields had to move to the national capital from the state capital and were demonstrating their brilliance there on various platforms. Around that time, there sprouted an idea that all these Telugus should be brought together on a single platform, that they should share their joys and difficulties. A platform where the Telugus recaptured their Telguness by bringing together their language and art, their literature and art forms. And the man who found like-minded people and brought them all together was Sri NVL Nagarajan. It was the year 1990, though by then there were a couple of organizations in the name of Telugus, it was this entity that was formed with the pure intent of promoting and popularizing Telugu language, literature and culture. The nascent organization was christened as Delhi Telugu Academy following the suggestion of Sri T. V. K. Sastri who was Deethan reigning mentor in the literary and cultural world. Deethan member of parliament, the late Dronam Raju Sachinarayana and senior IAS and IPS officers like Sri K. Padmanabhaya, Sri K. S. Sharma, Sri P. L. Sanjeev Reddy, Sri P. Abraham, Sri D. V. L. L. Ramakrishna and other many efficient and erudite officers came together and were coordinated into a team by Sri Nagaraju. Matelugu Talliki Mallepu Danda, yet another garland to the Telugu mother, was the first thought that led to the inception of this organization. Delhi Telugu Academy was formally inaugurated in Delhi by renowned character artist, the late Dr. Prabhakar Reddy. Recognizing the value of cinema as a unifying force, the launch was marked by the screening of the hit film Shiva. The show was immensely successful. In fact, it was so successful that the Academy had to screen the film twice over to accommodate all the Telugu people who turned up at the venue. Thus began the program of film screening which later on went into hundreds of shows. As Delhi Telugu Academy took shape, the organizers wanted to design a logo for the organization. There was a massive brainstorming session to decide on the concept for the logo. There was a big discussion about what should be the symbol for the logo. And there emerged the concept that a wheel indicates movement, vibrancy and progress. It was decided that the wheel, the circle in the Sudarshana Chakra, in Buddha's Dharma Chakra and the mighty wheel of Jagannatha's chariot shall be the symbol in the Academy logo. The wheel was deemed to symbolize the Academy's effort to rejuvenate and provide a vibrant movement in the fields of literature, music, dance and theatre, social welfare, science, etc. The chakra with eight spokes like the Ashtadala Padmam has come to symbolize eight different kinds of fields that the academy worked in. 
and the circle around the spokes has been shining as a light to indicate progress. The Academy was registered under the Societies Act and has attained eligibility to receive donations and provide income tax exemption. Though the national capital Delhi is the hub for its activities, the Academy extended its action plan to various places across the country. Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Visakhapatnam, Vijayanagaram, Tirupati and other cities were venues for grand programs. Delhi Telugu Academy also held many programs abroad for the benefit of the non-resident Telugus. Let's have a bird's eye view of the innumerable programs that the Academy had organized across the last two and a half decades. In association with noted musicians, the organization had held classical, light, devotional and film music concerts. Dance is one of the most important art forms in Indian cultural stream. A symbol of unity in diversity, dance has many forms and faces, types and traditions. Delhi Telugu Academy proudly provided a platform to artists of Kuchipudi and Bharatanatyam, Kathak and Kathakali. Many a famed artist performed to enthrall audiences under the ages of the Academy. The Academy gave due importance to folk dance forms too. Patyam is one of the most significant literary forms in Telugu. Avadhanam is an art that has the Padyam as its focal point. Delhi Telugu Academy proved its unstinting respect for the Telugu language by organizing Avadhanam programs. Theatre found an honorable and popular dash in the Academy with dozens of theatre performances and drama shows mesmerizing discerning audiences. Spirituality was one of the fragrances in the veritable bouquet of programs that the Academy held. Discourses and lectures, discussions and interactions were organized on the subjects of religion, spirituality, intellectual questions, literary and cultural issues and scientific matters. The effort has been to provide a varied experience to its patrons and supporters through the wonderfully diverse programs. Young people have been rightly recognized by Delhi Telugu Academy as our future, as our ambassadors to tomorrow. National conventions were held to discuss the various issues and concerns of the youth, interactions were organized with experts so that young men and women could express themselves freely and find a direction for their future. The objectives of the academy include not just cultural development but also social welfare. So, the academy adopted a few villages and has focused on providing basic amenities to the people living in those villages. The Academy has been organizing awareness programs and providing infrastructure to the people of many villages in the Tellapur Mandal of Medak district in Telangana. Awareness is being created on crucial issues such as clean surroundings, environment, safe drinking water, children's health, etc. Similar efforts are being made in the Dattivalsa village in the Garugapilli Mandal of Vijayanagaram district in North Coastal Andhra Pradesh. These partnerships in social development are sources of everlasting pride and motivation for Delhi Telugu Academy. The true spirit and essence of our festivals in celebrating them together. And where else but Delhi Telugu Academy do we find a hearty celebration? The true embodiment of the Telugu spirit, the leitmotifs of Telugu culture, festivals such as Ugadi, Sri Ramanavami, Mahashivaratri, Sankranti, Bonalu, Batukamma found a place in the DTA calendar, providing people to immerse themselves in festivities even as the traditions and customs of the Telugu festivals are protected.
ஸ்ரீ வெங்கடேஸ்வர கல்யாணோற்சவம் ஸ்ரீ லக்ஷ்மி நரசிம்ம கல்யாணோற்சவம் ஸ்ரீராம கல்யாணம் சிம்ஹாச்சல அப்பண்ண கல்யாணம் and many such holy and joyous occasions were celebrated with gaiety and fervor by DTA. The Academy held prestigious cultural events in partnership with popular television channels such as TV9 and Sri Venkateshwara Bhakti channel and has not only entertained live audience but also enthroned lakhs of people through telecasts across the world. It was not just renowned artists who had sanctified the innumerable forums of Delhi Telugu Academy, but also many noted personalities of the day graced the programs. Union and state ministers, governors of various states, members of parliament and legislatures, vice chancellors of different universities, renowned film stars and prominent people from the film industry, countless are the celebrities, legends and people of letters who participated in the festivals of DTA. Cultural celebration on the one hand and social development on the other. Arts on one hand and human advancement on the other. Two eyes but a single spectacular vision. Delhi Telugu Academy strides forward in the path to an evolved society through its chosen streams. It has crossed a hundred landmarks and the momentous milestone of the Silver Jubilee. As the Academy continues its determined and tireless journey towards the next milestone. Please shower your kind blessings on the team. Wish them all the best.